originally from Nigeria. Uh, the meaning of the last name is uh, last name of Sigwe is um, warrior. My warrior is uh, somebody who you know who is a leader, set a good examples, um, never gives up. When you're a warrior, you're competitive. So competitiveness is just that's that's how we were raised. My dad has been competitive all his life. When I was 12, I was playing in the African, uh, West African region in a couple of ITF uh, tournaments, a couple of uh, challenges. Uh, at that particular time, it was uh, survival. You know, the, the most important thing for me was uh, using uh, tennis to get out of uh, this uncomfortable situation. My dad coming to US, he, he kind of came in playing. He was a tennis player. He's always told me stories about how when he was like 12 years old, he had to travel by himself. and. Not a lot of people can do that, especially at the age of 12. Coming from, coming from nothing, then trying to make it by yourself is just, it's really tough, but you know, it's, it's also very inspiring for me just to know that my dad has been through so much. So it just like kind of pushes me. So he's, that's just something he just taught us. So all three of us have just always grown up being competitive. We don't like to lose. You know, looking at uh, when he was younger, studying tennis, I think actually he helped Whitney to get better because they play every day and fight. I came out on the clay courts in the back when I was younger and I didn't really wear tennis clothes. I wore jeans and boots to play, but I played with my brother back when he did play tennis and we would always argue about the score because one of us would cheat and so. I mean, he comes over and watches for a bit sometimes, but when I'm on a changeover, he just talks about how he's so much better than me and he can beat me and stuff, but that's obviously not true. <laughs> Well, I'm just starting out in the pros, so I want to get a higher ranking there and play some top players and do pretty decent against them. And also this year, uh, one of my big goals is to finish juniors number one. I told my dad, my mom, my brother, my sister, even my whole group that I played with. I want to be number one in the world for pro. If there's one person I want to be in front of me, it's her, so. They are very competitive in their sports, but they look out for each other. Victoria sat on, uh, sat on the bench, you know, watching uh, Whitney develop, you know, at the same time cheering for her. So, you know, I, I would say she's lucky she have a big sister to follow her footsteps. I honestly think she listens to me more than she listens to my dad. So I just repeat what he says back to her and I give her some advice from how I feel being a daughter and student and an athlete still on court as well. I just have to remember that there's always whatever I do wrong, she's gonna do wrong too. So I have to just try and do what I can to be to be good at it so I know that she can do the same. It's good because I would learn stuff from them to do in my game. Like to have a good attitude and how to hit the ball and like on the footwork and what to say to yourself all those things. I'm a tough coach and a tough father. It's good to be tough, but at the same time, I think you have to balance it. Me being a coach is to teach the game of tennis, and me being a father is to teach uh, the morals. So when you combine both together, I think it's a good chemistry. Yeah, it's great. Um, he's always available, and he understands me better than anybody else can, and I feel more comfortable with him than I probably ever would with anybody else. So, I mean, obviously at home he's a dad and on the court he's a coach, so the fact that he can play both roles is really great. Heading into the French Open, I practiced a lot, I played a lot of matches. I was coaching a lot, I was coaching uh, over the phone. I woke up every morning almost about 4 a.m. I mean, it was more mental, like calm your nerves, stay positive, do your routines, but tactical wise, it's just play your game and do what you usually do. Uh, when she got to the finals, we kind of went back to our playbook and then uh, we knew she was going to win it. It was actually my fifth match point, so I was going big and I ended up uh, making the big shot. But at the end, I was just, I mean, I was super happy, but I was really tired, so I just wanted to sit down. Tennis, you have to find ways to do things on a bad day, on a good day, so it's definitely taught me to find ways in life and that not everything is going to be perfect, but you have to find a way around it. It's definitely a goal to exceed past what he's done, and I think I'm on the right path to it. But yeah, he just has experience that he always brings to me, so it's helping. It's a family-oriented place. I mean, you guys can see it, it speak for itself. You know, everybody here is uh, loving and caring. 
My job is to help my kids succeed and I will not be able to do this without my wife Jessica. She does a lot behind closed door and as a matter of fact, she does more than I do. And if I can come with zero and um, raise my kids to be in this level, um, I think uh, it speaks for itself. Everybody have uh, you know, the opportunity to learn from their elders. The journey that I have taken, you know, either good or bad, I've you know, passed it to my kids, and then I'm sure you know, that wisdom is going to stay in them. My job is to you know, help them succeed. And um, I think I'm doing my, my job.